Good Saturday morning. We're in the Gospel of Mark. Jesus sat down near the collection box in the temple and watched as the crowds dropped in their money. Many rich people put in large amounts. Then a poor widow came and dropped in two small coins. Jesus called his disciples to him and he said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has given more than all the others who are making contributions. For they gave a tiny part of their surplus, but she, poor as she is, has given everything she had to live on. The presence of this poor widow among unspiritual worshipers attempting to impress each other is light in a dark place. This was a lonely woman who'd lost her husband, whose heart was sad, whose means were scarce, and whose life was obscure at best. But she had found strength and consolation in going to worship service. The temple, the appointed place for worship, was dear to her heart. She could not be absent when the sacred services were proceeding, nor could she withhold her little gift in the passing of the offering plates. Jesus noticed her. What about her gift set it apart from the religiously ostentatious? What was it that impressed Jesus? Well, first, the relation of the gift to her means. Jesus said this quite plainly. This widow gave more than everybody. They gave a little bit of their surplus. She gave everything she had. God is not as impressed as much with what you give as he is with what you keep. Wealthy people who do spring cleaning and give clothes they're never going to wear again? That doesn't hold a candle to the value of gifts like this widow gave. Another thing that set her giving apart was her motive. Money which is given just to impress people? It's going to do that. It's going to impress people. God? Not so much. Gifts given to relieve suffering, to spread the gospel, these are the gifts that God accepts and is pleased with. A generous act of love, an ungrudging gift of property, a a willing foregoing of something like Starbucks for a month and donating the money to some good cause. God loves that kind of cheerful giving. Lord, I think I am beginning to understand the old saying, give till it hurts. Show me where, where I can give today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Church starts at 10.30 tomorrow. Hope to see you there.